Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? Hope you all had a very safe and productive week. All right, today um, I have a new tool, Festool. It is the AGC 18-125. And as you can see what's on the table, it is the grinder. And funny story about this is it was released um, October 1st and I was in Woodcraft and I like to thank Billy from Woodcraft for holding this thing for me for over a month um, you know the month before it was released uh, I you know they told me about it and I you know I seen it on um, on uh, Instagram with uh, Festool Sedge and I um, was like whoa I gotta get this thing so I asked Billy to get me one tool only and poof went right right over me didn't even remember that I ordered this thing never saw one on Instagram or YouTube and I didn't even remember the other day I'm sitting just there you know going through my Instagram and Facebook and the thing popped up and I'm like oh my god this thing has been sitting for a month so I called up went down picked it up and I'll tell you I've just played with it just a little bit and it is a very nice and well balanced grinder compared to the DeWalt 60 volt max and the Milwaukee 12 volt and even um, Makita and a Milwaukee corded one that I have at my shop it's a big difference with the way it's balanced once the battery is on okay so enough of the story I bought tool only uh, God forbid I have another charger uh, I didn't need a charger and I, I yeah you could use batteries but I have like 12 festival batteries anywhere from 12 volt 14 and then I think I have like 8 18 volt batteries I, I didn't need any more so the tool comes, as you can see here, grinder with an open guard. It comes with a vibration handle, and it's got this handle's got a little bit of weight to it, so it's a nice handle. And it comes with a very long um, wrench. But I'm going to show you a feature on this thing that I think is really cool. It also comes with the instruction manual in a sustainer too. Okay, first thing, the handle. The handle could be put either on the left side or the right side. Blade lock, uh, well, actually, arbor lock. And then your locking switch with immediate shutdown. Brushless motor, um, brake, which you'll see in a second goes from 4500 to 8500 rpm so it is perfect for any of the brushes or the abrasive wheels that take a maximum of 12,000 rpm it has a dial speed from 6 down to 1 right there it does come well it doesn't you can get a close guard the um, blade lock actually has a lever once you lock the spindle you take it off and you tighten it with this little half moon go ahead take it off so you're actually tightening with your fingers the inner arbor or um, bushing, it's a 5 8 inch standard arbor, 7 8 inch bushing. But if you notice on the back side, there is a rectangle. And you see here, so if you do drop this, you have to remember that this, this rectangle has to go into the motor because that's what grabs 
this inner bushing to make the blade spin. If not, it's just going to spin and spin and spin unless you're using a threaded bit that has the threads on it. It is a standard thread. So just to show you, this is a blade lock off of a, a Milwaukee. And it's the same thread. The only thing is you cannot use that wrench. You have to use the wrench. So if you're going to lock your <clears throat> bits on, you need that wrench to, to grab the holes here. The wrench that comes with this, let me show you. The wrench that comes with this is for the locking collar, not for somebody else's. It's not even close. So you have to use their wrench. And it will fit, like I said, it will fit any 5 8 inch lock. So, make sure that your rectangle is going down to the motor, and that's what we'll grab here. Now, what I did, clutching with this thing, is the actual guard is removable, and the guard is positionable. Now, you see here, that's the lock. A lot of the grinders, you have to push, pull up on it. This, you're pushing down. So if you see right there, and then you can rotate to different positions and have it locked back in. Now to remove it, what I did is if you noticed I put a black line right there, and that gets matched to the arrow, and then you can remove the guard to install the other guard. Never use a grinder without a guard because I've seen grinder injuries as a fireman as a paramedic and I've seen what those with these things can embed into your cheek and your neck and that's exactly what I've seen cheek and neck so put it back on I just take and if you notice it's a large it's a large re, a little indent here that matches with that indent right there. Just a little, little mark helps. And then once you get it on, it'll lock into that first position and it won't go nowhere. Put the blade on. Let me just make sure I'm grabbing the right one. Get your inner and move it around. Make sure it's locked in there. Insert your blade, your disc. You see how the 5 8 to 7 8 inch. Remember years ago you used to put a little like almost like a washer that came with the your blade and then turn it on push your blade lock in move your blade around till it pushes and lock it down. Remember always no battery no plug. So now I got my cutoff wheel I was searching around for my vice attachment that I made for the MFT table and I forgot I brought it in to test it because we have one of those DeWalt tables we keep on our truck <clears throat> and I wanted to have a vice. So I said let me futz around with it and see when we make up fittings and stuff for tanklesses. So I brought it in and I liked it. It worked great and I left it on the truck. So here's a little trick. If you ever want to cut like a threaded rod and you don't have a vice? Take a block of wood, you can take a clamp, take your threaded rod, put it to where you want to put it, get it situated, drop your clamp down, move this so that it's pretty much under. That should stay locked in there. Let me grab uh, my protection here.
that's your break. Doesn't stop it immediately, but it gives it a little nice little oomph when it's done. But pretty good, right? Holds it, because if not, you're never going to get it under the clamp. So that's that for that. Now, oh, one other little thing. When I first was trying to play with this, if you haven't noticed, 14 volt and 18 volt batteries are almost the same dimension. I'm grabbing a 14 volt battery, I'm putting it in, it fits. I go to turn it on, it goes, mm. I turn it on, mm. I look at the battery, some of them don't have an indicator, I grab one with an indicator, it's fully charged. Mm. So what the heck? And then all of a sudden I notice, I say, oh God, it's a 14 volt battery. So if you have a bunch of different batteries, it's not working. All right, let me show you now. So there is a cutoff wheel. Let me just take this off to make it a little bit more. And it's fairly, it doesn't lock. See, look, boom, comes right off. Didn't use the wrench or nothing. So now, your cutoff wheel. Here's your tile saw, tile blade. Same thing. Locks on. There's your tile blade. Again, always check. All right, now, um, yeah, let's go with a regular disc for taking rust off fits perfectly and this one is this one's a Milwaukee these actually these two wire wheels are Milwaukee Arbor's the same threads the same all the same now this thing the diamond sander taking down stock. Okay. Got a piece of mahogany left over from some cutting boards. There we go. watch the movie Battle of the Bulge when the general is showing um, oh what the hell is his name Quint from Jaws he played the the German uh, major that um, headed up the first um, SS Panzer division that went into the bulge and he starts showing them the models of their new weapons and he says well general at least we know the Germans were always known as the best toy makers and the best tool and die makers. And there we go. See, that, it's very easy to lose the inner collar. So that's why, again, it's important when you get it in there, play around with it, hold the grinder up so that everything flops down on it and make it all up. It'll work perfectly. Um, here, let me do, we'll do a little piece of aluminum here. So start it up until it's it's on. It ain't going to go nowhere. Move it around until the blade lock locks in. Give it a tighten. Again, battery is off. Oh, 
really wish I had my vise. Remember, don't do like I just did. Move your guard so that it's away from you, know, so that the guard is away from your face. I mean, so that it's at the face. But yes, very nice. This will probably be something I will be bringing and using um, on my truck. Just the balance of it, to hold it, to cut off thing, to cut off the bolts and uh, cut steel with it. Um, I find it to be a heck of a lot better than the um, Milwaukee one we carried on the truck, and. There is provisions. You can put the tool in with a battery already connected onto it. Your other battery here, the charger would go here, and your other, which I did order, I ordered the closed grinder top, will go right here. So that's the way. That's that. Very nice. I really look forward to using it. All right. Hi, right, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this um, little quick demo of the AGC 18-125. And let's, yeah, let's yeah. need to charge that. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, what am I? Um, 700 away from 10,000. So we're getting closer to the giveaway. As um, soon as we hit 10,000, I'm going to do a video on it. And then we'll do like uh, like we did on the previous ones. You put a comment in. We, we put your name in a hat. We'll draw it. And that um, triangle will... Um, oh, let me show it for, the, for those of you that don't know. Let me grab it so we can show it. It's the MTR 18, not this one, brand new in a box. That's my giveaway for 10,000 subscribers. What you see here, this, the flat part comes separate with the Allen screws to make it into a triangle. Other than that, with the added options from TSO, you can actually use it on your MFT table uh, to take the place of the rail. I like using it as a glorified square. It's phenomenal, especially when you're doing like uh, 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 a bookcase or a desk or a dresser, something like that. It, it works perfectly um, for large uh, right angles. So, oh, let me uh, just give you an update on the 12 volt fuel this is the best. So the one 
that almost looks like the CHX uh, from Festool. It has the, the one I did a review on. It has the offset chuck, the 90 degree chuck, the Jacobs chuck, and then the quick connect, and all of them connect via a push and push on, two speed, phone reverse, electronic, brushless motor. This is my second one. This is mine for the here and Mike switch up, and I have one on the truck. Uh, my men love it. I love it. Balance, light. Uh, it's it's just a phenomenal drill. We use it all the time. We don't even use our um, 12 volts uh, Milwaukee screwdriver drill that's been sitting on the truck. We carry it actually in with the bag. I only I didn't even put it into the um, pack out. That's pack out sitting there. Um, couldn't fit it and I don't want to make my pack out any taller on the truck so we leave this in a little cubby and it we well this one as you could see I ended up putting the wall that new pack stack system that I showed you and it has all the drill it has all bits in it it has the um, Phillips bit that we can extend to hold the screw it's got Torx bits and I keep it all I keep a, a set right here um, and I really don't care to match Milwaukee with uh, uh, the wall. It, that doesn't really float my boat. As long as it's in there and I have it when I need it. I keep an extra battery. Again, the larger capacity flat bottom batteries don't work as well because the drill does not stand up like that. So when you put it down, it ends up falling. So I prefer we use the small battery and we're only using it for, for screws. So I don't need a lot of power, but I ended up went and bought the second drill just to have it here. And yes, I know I got a million drills, but this is my kind of like, I got to go upstairs and fix something. I grab this drill and bring it upstairs. So, all right, enough rambling on. Like to thank all the comments, all the questions, all the emails, keep them coming. All the subscribes uh, from the bottom of my heart. Again, I never thought I would have done this well um, on YouTube. And I greatly appreciate all of the support. And also all the support on Instagram. So, um, my email will be below. You want a Mike Switch Up sticker. You want to um, ask a question. Just shoot me an email. Um, the, oh, this was 375 Or it's... Um, 600 with the two batteries in the charger. It's Airstream too, so if you buy it with the batteries in the charger, it's the Airstream, so it's the real good batteries. Uh, but again, I didn't need, you know, another two batteries and another charger. Um, so, uh, but all of that will be in the description below. All right, YouTube? I hope you all have a very safe and good week. Uh, this week coming up, Tuesday, um, my wife and one of my daughters, we're leaving for New York uh, for our niece's wedding. So um, I'll be posting uh, just a video that I've had, you know, I keep in, in stock uh, for such an occasion. So I'll see you on the following week. And um, I hope you all enjoy the week coming up. All right. Have a good weekend and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.